Hey everyone, it's a book haul video today. You want to see the things I bought recently? Woo! -hoo! Let's go through them and I'll show you what I did. Um, so the other day I was at the writing conference and if you watch that video, you will see at the end a little preview of some of the things I bought there. My problem there is I just want to buy everything because all the authors are there at the conference either doing classes or doing a book signing and so it's like I just kind of want to buy everything. But in the end, I bought a couple of rom-coms, sweet rom-coms. Just Won't Spring for the Boy Band Star. This is in a series, I think. Uh, there's four of them, and but I don't think you have to read them as a series. It's called the Four Seasons Park Sweet Romantic Comedy Series. So I picked the boy band one for reasons. So we'll see how that one goes. It's really short, should be fast and easy. This one is by Sasha Hart. That's her writing name for the rom-coms. Rebecca Rhodes. When she writes fantasy, that's what she writes under there. And this one's Betting on the Boy Next Door by M Melanie Jacobson because I love the Boy Next Door trope. So we'll see if this one follows that or if it's completely surprising. I don't know. I just want to read them for fun. And then I also bought, this one is science fiction by Johnny Worthen, who I, I went to one of his classes. And he's a crazy, eccentric, funny, silly, really awesome guy. I read a couple of his way a long time ago. He's written a ton since that time. This one is sort of a sci-fi. The millennium after the unsettling of old earth, the new worlds in space are on the brink of war. Anyway, it just sounded like a crazy fun science fiction. And at the signing, he gave me a colored map of the solar system that he made. Is that cool or what? Of course, I bought the fourth book in the Stormlight Archives by Brandon Sanderson, Rhythm, Rhythm of War, because he was there doing book signing and they weren't letting everybody go. And I actually ended up with the, the piece of paper that allowed me to go. So I bought the next book, even though, of course, you all know, I am still struggling with the third book right here. But someday I'll finish that and then someday I'll read this. But man, that's a lot of words. That's crazy. Anyway, I think it will be easier for me to read the, this this uh, style. Not not the teeny tiny one and not the hardback, but this trade paperback. I think it will be great. Wish me luck. And then the other day, if you've been paying attention, we went to the uh, library and a little bookstore in kind of a small town here in Utah. And at the library, they had a tiny little book sale going on. And I zeroed right in on this one, bought it for a dollar. Jean Luen Yang, another graphic novel called Dragon Hoops. It's basketball-y, but I love his stuff. It's a Prince Honor. That's always good. And so I bought it for a dollar. How can we go wrong, right? And this would be a fun, fast read, even though it's big and thick. Yeah. So see how that one goes. And then when we went to the little bookstore, I ended up buying another just fun rom-com, I'm assuming. You can tell by the covers, right? These covers are so popular right now. It's so funny to me how everything kind of has the same style. And then if it's a suspense, it has that other style like this one. I can't get it out because I would kill all the books, but you know, the style of the little slanted and the handwritten font. There's a trend, definitely. Anyway, this one's by Caitlin Hill. Not here to stay friends. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I like to just grab something that I know nothing about and I'm totally judging it by the cover and by the title and, and by the genre. So I know nothing. I've heard nothing. So we'll see how that goes. It says, Two best friends, one unreal teen dating show. Okay. And then I got this one, Everything I Never Told You by Celeste mm -hmm. um, Because my friend Jenny that I was there at the bookstore with said this one was devastating in all the, good, all the ways. All the ways. So I couldn't resist that. And it's really small and easy, it looks like. So I just thought, why not? So we'll catch up on that one. So there you have it, the few books that I have acquired in the past couple weeks. Since I don't have a book buying ban right now, I feel like I'm kind of buying wherever I'm at. Uh, yeah, I feel like I might have added a couple to the Kindle too, but I can't remember now what they are. I think everything else I already talked about. 
will be out of town again this weekend. Hopefully I can find a fun little bookstore and I will probably be buying more books because I figure if you're gonna go to an independent bookstore, you gotta walk out with buying at least something, right? So we'll see what jumps out at me there and hopefully we can find some cute little place and see what other bookstores are out and about in the world. If you guys have a bookstore in your area that you want me to check out someday, please let me know because you never know, I might end up there somehow someday. So yeah, let me know if there's some bookstore out there in the world you think needs to be on my list for sure. Let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them. Till next time, happy reading, bye.